Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's morning Eastern time here. I'm starting a bit late in this part four of the uh, uh, video series explaining the values behind my new project, BS Free Spirituality. So, uh, yep, I'm, I'm running late, <laughs> feeling a little bit flustered. I am going to pop over to the uh, BS Free Spirituality Facebook page just to <clears throat> share this live video in a couple different places before, before getting going. So give me a second to do that. All right, I think that I'm all set. I don't have any notes today. <laughs> that's how it goes. I think that's the, the point of this um, scheduling. This is the first time I've ever scheduled a live video series to share, yeah, to share on a, on a regular basis, a five part, a five part thing. And so I've been talking a lot in this series about going outside the comfort zone, about facing fears that you know, that are getting in the way of us stepping more into our, our power and, and getting, the, getting in the way of our, our unique contribution that we can share with the world. So I'm a writer. I like to type things and explain myself that, <laughs> that way. Um, yeah, so, so this is an example of scheduling, scheduling some, uh, scheduling a video series like this is an example of of the kind of of an unusual kind of self development practice, you know we don't have to think about about practice about even spiritual practice in the usual sense of there being concrete rules that we're supposed to follow and, and we're supposed to meet the expectations of a tradition and and blah blah blah. To me, it's it's being really tuned into where we're at in our in our own unique process, being tuned into our body and noticing in our core. Uh, when when we are at a wall, when we are actually holding ourselves back to identify that and then make some steps beyond it. So uh, if you haven't seen the first three videos in this series, uh, Monday I talked about self-responsibility. Tuesday I talked about determination. Wednesday it was exploration. Today is purpose. And then tomorrow will be the last one about expression. So these are five values that that I see as underlying the the vision for my new project, BS Free Spirituality, and and what that is all about is is demystifying introspective practice, uh, making making anything and any embodied and more psychological practices and and the ones that weave together, uh, making those more accessible to ordinary people by using everyday language and by by knowing when when is the right time to to break some rules and really start to trust our own core our own intuition our own body yeah, and to, to have it be more fun to have it be more of an adventure and uh, so so purpose to me uh, gets at the fact that all of our experiences have meaning or we can find meaning in all of our experiences even the unpleasant or challenging ones so so not just when things are going well or, or, or when we're feeling happy in, in that moment or, or uh, but instead being able to look back and, and see and, and to be able to find some meaning in everything that we've gone through. Uh, each of us has a unique contribution to make to the world. We can lead from our values and core intuition, taking hints from our body and soul and find a context and scale in which to create an impact that can give us a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. So uh, what actually comes to mind first for me is, is my own experiences with this. I'm not a person who, 
who had a, a sense of my own purpose throughout my life. In fact, a lot of my life, I felt kind of plagued by, uh, by, by a sense that I was missing that, by a sense that I couldn't uh, find my own purpose that, in, I mean, to, to get just really blunt about it, in, my, in a lot of my 20s, I, I felt convinced that life was meaningless. And, and so uh, I didn't identify as a person who was living with depression. I called it an existential dilemma that, that I just, that things just didn't make, make sense, that, that life as an adult was not anything like I imagined it would be when I was younger based on the, the information that was available. A lot, a lot of, a lot of that came from TV and, and movies, but, uh, but then, but then in the culture, in, in, in school, there's always the message that we can be whatever we want. We can do whatever we want, you know, follow your dreams, that kind of thing. When in reality, I mean, the world is, the world is changing so fast today, but, but, even so, uh, the difference between, you know, when, when we are younger and, and when we're adults is so, so vast. And then combine that with how, how quick things are changing in the world. And it's, it's, it's not really possible, even, even now where I am in my mid thirties, it's not really possible for me to, uh, to look ahead 10 years and know exactly what is going to bring meaning and fulfillment to me when I'm, when I'm in my mid forties, for instance. And so we, you know, we can have, we can have goals and, and, and things that we strive towards, but, uh, <laughs> where was I going with this? Uh, oh, oh yeah. I was saying that I'm not a person that, that has always been tapped into my purpose or the, the meaning of my life. And so when I did, uh, go through what I would call a, a spiritual awakening where a lot of my ways of perceiving the world, my, my overall belief system kind of got shattered and shaken up. And, and that led me to, to have to kind of uh, go on a search that, that is what some of the earlier videos were talking about determination and exploration, really putting in some, some work, putting in some energy, uh, hold, you know, being patient, get, taking the time that it takes to actually make, uh, make some sustainable lasting changes in our lives. And I think what I was saying was when I started to go through a big opening and really confront that feeling that, uh, of, of, of a sense of meaninglessness, then that inevitably led me to, to search for answers which, which I, you know, I did search a lot outside of myself. I was looking for, for a group or a system or a, or a, a, a set of theories, a theory of everything as, as think, as some people say, like, like a, a new framework that would, that would make more sense than anything that I had found in growing up uh, in Catholicism, growing up in American public schools, growing up in, in the, the media culture of television and movies, all of that. None, none of that uh, seemed to see, seemed to reflect the reality that I found myself in in the you know the first decade of the 21st century as as a as a mid 20s uh, male individual. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was saying I, I started by searching outside of myself, wanted someone else to save me, wanted someone else to cure me, and these were in different contexts. But that 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 that's what tied it all together was that I was. Uh, I was expecting somebody to just like make the meaninglessness go away. And these, this approach to the, the, the problem or the dilemma never really helped. Uh, when, when something did start to shift, it, it was through meditative experiences. It was through, through shamanism for sure. And, uh, but, but it was more than anything, it was, it was through getting more connected with my body in, in it, through those meditative experiences to develop a deeper connection with, with the, the sensations that, that happened throughout my body and, and getting more in touch with, with what I would call like core intuition. So, um, 
and, and there's some some flow back and forth too. like having a deep meditative experience like that this that's the exploration part which i talked about in the last video whether it's whether it's in a in a more spiritual practice sense or exploring the world I, i've also gained a lot of insight about the meaning of my life through through travel through through solo travel to strange places in the world but uh, so what i was leading up to saying is that uh about three years ago i did gain a very clear sense of of life mission actually and 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 so for me the words that came were that my life mission is to to help guide people towards more empowerment, liberation, and fulfillment. And so this the, these, this uh, felt very massive, I remember, at the time that I started to get really clear about that, partly because of all of those years I had gone through of, of feeling like I just didn't know what I was doing here. I didn't know what I was supposed to contribute to the world. And <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm not seeing a comment box. I'm trying to um, just check if there's, yeah, the Facebook Live system is a little bit glitchy, so I apologize if it's, if there's anything going on on your end. Hopefully you can at least hear me, but uh, anyway, getting a clearer sense of my life mission, then, uh, first of all, then integrated back into my day-to-day -day life helped me to make decisions about where I was, where I was getting more training, where I was investing my energy, uh, how I was designing my, my workshops that I do, my coaching that I offer. And so then, then it becomes like a step, a stepwise progression from there where, where we can get a sense of, of our purpose or uh, our mission and then go out and do things and see how the world responds, see how, see what kind of feedback we get, either, either the words from people or, uh, or just, just the, sometimes you can just feel the, the, what come, what, what, what impact something has, what, uh, yeah, what, what kind of experience it creates or, or encourages for people. Uh, and another thing that just jumped to mind is that, I, for me, it did come up in a very clear way with words, uh, a, a sense of the life mission, but but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. I don't think that purpose, in other words, there's nothing wrong if if you if you have done meditative self development work and and you wouldn't. I mean, I think it can be helpful to to do this as an exercise to to just try to write it out because it can change. You can you can edit it later. <laughs> Um, however, to me, purpose isn't only about having that single phrase of, of what I'm doing here, what, you know, what, what's my work mission. It, it's also, uh, perhaps more importantly, uh, something about felt sense. And, and so I, you know, I've talked a about that a little bit ago in this video and in some of the other videos and because things are changing so fast, uh, yeah, when we are in a world Right now, this is 2017, <laughs> where uh, reality is so much different. The, the world is so much different than it's ever been before. And, and uh, things, yeah, things are moving very fast. The communication systems that are present today and the way that messages and, and information come in and out of our sphere, it's just life is, life is a lot different than it's ever been before. So, so in many ways, we're in new territory, even if, even if uh, some ideas or, or, or systems or tools from the past might, might help us in some ways, uh, in, a, in a lot of ways, I think it's important to recognize that each of us is, is uh, like an explorer today, that because of how fast things are moving, the, old, the older things become out of date uh, more quickly or, or, um, or more commonly. They, it's just we're all called upon to to take those pieces from the past to take those ideas and tools to to break them you know to take apart the the gears and the, the wires not to just blow the whole thing up but but to 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 disassemble things a little bit from the past and then 
and then reevaluate, say, oh, which pieces could, could I, could I, uh, it's like upcycling, <laughs> which, which pieces could I, could I put together in a new way that, that feels really relevant to the world situation and whatever the present moment is, and also feels really, really true and, and useful to my core intuition. So uh, just to tie, just to like ground in what I'm saying right now, this, this relates to the way that I design uh, workshops and retreats. I don't, uh, so I've trained in a variety of different facilitation schools, uh, both in body practices. I'm a registered yoga teacher and, and, and also different meditation traditions uh, and then some of the things I've just picked up through experience ascetic dance for instance and uh, well I've also trained in, in some different kinds of breathwork practices and then I've trained in nonviolent communication and other kinds of uh, facilitating uh, facilitation methods for for guiding somebody through a transformational journey and and yet sorry I'm just pausing to Look at my website, and, and yet none of uh, none of those felt complete to me. And and in each case, I saw I've seen people uh, just totally uh, lose themselves in in that one specific uh, world or or system or or paradigm. <laughs> and uh, and so maybe that works for them. I I a lot of times think that. That people fake it and this is a different kind of faking than than spiritual bypassing it's not it's not uh necessarily preventing you know it's not pre necessarily preventing or, or faking that that they have found uh that they have found you know something that works for them a lifestyle that works for them but there but there can be uh a kind of group think that appears where where people just do what they can to fit in, to not, not rock the boat, to, to not question, uh, especially to not question the, the unspoken rules of a group, the taboos, uh, because <laughs> I know from experience that, that when, when you start to do that, then there can be both uh, subtle and overt movements to nudge you out of the group because uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty deep group psychology stuff. I'm not gonna go <laughs> totally in that direction right now. Uh, however, it is gonna be something that, that, that comes through more in my work and, and it's definitely part of the inspiration for, for the whole concept of BS free spirituality. It's not about saying that any of those things is wrong. It's just about saying that any system is necessarily incomplete. And, and so anyone who who claims that that a single system or a theoretical body is the end all be all it's it's just bs because life and reality are infinitely complex so uh let's see what else is there about about purpose Yeah, I guess in the context of, of the, the five values that I've talked about, I, I've described it kind of like a journey uh, going from self-responsibility, you know, taking responsibility for our, for our own well-being and for improving our own situation, improving our own experience, or at least influencing it, uh, then determination, you know, sticking through the challenges that arise, uh, holding ourselves at our, at, our, at our growing edge where we're kind of tiptoeing outside of the comfort zone, uh, exploration, where where we really start to look at at this as an adventure, where we seek out allies and mentors, and and where we really start to instead of feeling lonely in our own unique experience, that that only we can ever you know we can never really fully know what someone else is going through, uh, instead of instead of experiencing that as a lonely isolated thing, to to start to look at it. As, as kind of cool, like, or as, as something to celebrate. Like I, uh, I have a, a completely unique experience and viewpoint and perception of reality, despite the, the overlap, the things that we can, you know, experience in common and, and despite the intimacy that, that we can, or the connection that we can share with other people. Uh, 
in other words, each one of us has, is, <laughs> uh, is a unique, uh, a unique phenomenon, a, a, a unique being. So, so to start to celebrate that and to, to appreciate it instead of, instead of looking at it as, as something that, that would, uh, guarantee loneliness. Cause that's another thing that I used to experience back, uh, a long time ago. And especially when I started getting into spirituality was, you know, I got so deep into, into theories, uh, uh, ab ab about that, 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 that way that we all experience reality a little bit differently that, uh, yeah, to, to me, I just, uh, I, I could, I, at first it just, magnified that um disconnection that i was already having within myself where i was i was so out of touch with with what i was supposed to be doing with my time and my energy to make to make a, a an impact or impression in the world that um yeah i it just seemed like well if i can uh <laughs> it's like if, if i can only ever really know what's going on inside of me then 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 how am I going to bridge that gap? I think this this does come into to purpose. This is this is possibly so maybe I'm touching on something that that is actually a really uh, big kind of universal aspect of of what a transformational journey to more fulfillment, empowerment, and liberation needs to involve is 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 finding a way to to bridge that gap between us and the rest of the universe, whether it's other people or, or nature, because I think we can, we can also experience really deep connection with, with nature and not just with, with people. Uh, but so to me, yeah, there, there was the exploration, the going out and looking for, for allies. And then this purpose piece, we, we definitely, you know, as individuals can, can make a difference, can, uh, can use our skills and our gifts to, instead of just, <laughs> instead of just complaining, or pointing fingers at others, we can find ways on the human scale to take some action, even small, uh, to to have an impact in the world. And and I think I think part of that is also about yeah. Well, so another way to say this is that it's not just about work. Like like for me, I'm thinking uh, about how much more effective I am in my work when I have stronger community resources around me when I, uh, yeah, when I, when I, in other words, when I am more consistently bridging that gap between me and the rest of the universe. And so that can come in through, through group projects that can come in through being in community spaces and, and the term intentional community is really meaningful to me. Essentially that that's not necessarily just a physical space where people are living in proximity, but an intentional community is where, where there's some uh, intention <laughs> that people share to, to come together, to, to live, work, play together in, in whatever way they decide uh, around some shared, shared values. And, and that could be either overtly stated or, or implied felt sense kind of values. In other words, the way that the way that people treat each other and the way that people act. But yeah, to me, um, that was lacking during during you know the time a long time ago when I when I felt uh, out of touch with my own purpose, and and since then in the last few years as I've developed more community connections, I mean, they're scattered. Pe the people the people that I feel close to and the, and the networks that that have provided a lot of support for me are 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 kind of scattered around the world, which which is another part of the com uh, complex situation that we find ourselves in, in in the 21st century, especially those of a, of a disposition like my own, who who like to who like to move around and, and explore a lot, and I think that's that's okay. The internet allows us to stay in touch. Video chat is is pretty amazing. <laughs> I've discovered uh, recently that that helps me stay connected to to people in my life. What else? Was I gonna say purpose? Yeah, I mean this is this is where we started to get into the mystery of 
yeah, there's there's some mysterious aspect about this step in in a transformational journey because, and I think I said this in some way that it's not necessarily just about work. You know, I think it's 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 possible and pro and, and very very common these days that uh, in order to uh, pay the bills or whatever, people might be working at a job where they don't feel a lot of passion or like they don't feel like it's their life purpose. And, and so it's important to remember to be gentle on ourselves. If, if, if the work aspect is not uh, fully lined up with our purpose, I think it's, <clears throat> I see more and more people, uh, one second. <clears throat> I see more and more people fitting in their their passion activity into the evenings and the weekends, and then that can lead to transitioning people making the leap to to a point where where more of the time they are able to spend you know doing what really does light them up what what uh what they feel like it is in their their highest path or highest alignment, you could say. But this isn't just about careers. In other words, it, this it's up to each of us as individuals to to decide how we are going to to handle this this purpose thing. It it could be through um, connection with family. It could be through through community service through 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 charitable work it's there's not there's not a set formula and there's not one thing that's that's right across the board uh for for yeah i think it can be different for everyone but but it's universally important to be able to uh feel like we have an impact in the world to know to, to have a sense of our place in the world and, and so I guess where this is leading is that uh, whether or not you've tried to explore this, whether whether you've um, tried some self-development uh, workshops or, or seminars or retreats, uh, or you have a practice, if, if there's still something that feels off or, or missing, then there could be, there can be subconscious patterns, you know, uh, limiting self-beliefs that we took on earlier in our life from from situations that we were in when we were younger where, where something just didn't go right and we took on a belief that that there's something uh, wrong with us or or that we're unworthy of you know getting what we really want and need what what we're really craving and then and then this can snowball where we uh, put ourselves into situations that it, it becomes like self-fulfilling prophecy and then we get later on in our life and, and we can actually recreate the subconsciously without realizing it. It's possible to recreate the, the circumstances for us to, you know, in other words, to, to subconsciously put ourselves back in a situation that will confirm that we're unworthy or confirm that there's no meaning to things or that, or that we don't have any purpose for being here. So, uh, yeah, what I'm getting at is th this is one of the focuses of, of my work. So, uh, so whether it's through, through my, uh, coaching, my private coaching through, through retreats, like the one I'll be hosting in Thailand in March, uh, workshops and online courses, this is, this is a central focus of my work is, is, um, is not only helping people identify their purpose, but, but also looking even at the purpose piece as a journey in itself. And it's something that we will be. Uh, unveiling, unfolding, shaping, shaping more and more as we go along, and and so to look at it as 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 an adventure, not as a problem, but but something that uh, even the search brings meaning to our life. So, uh, from uh, I'll be back tomorrow with the last video. Sorry if anybody has posted a comment. I can't see the comment box today. Facebook Live, you're you're kind of wonky, but I like you because it's nice to be able to uh, just share what's on my mind with people. Uh, if you are not getting my emails, my email newsletter yet, and you want to follow the um, the BS Free Values link in the description, and I 
whenever I do get to the comment view, I'll put the link to the Thailand retreat that's coming up March 17th to 24th. And if you're seeing this past March 2018, it could still be worthwhile to go to bsfreespirituality.com and click on the events page and you'll see whichever uh, workshops or retreats I have coming up. I've got a lot of other exciting things coming, some online courses, uh, new coaching packages. So check it out. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for the last video in this series to talk about expression. All right, have a good one.